Welcome to another episode of Real Cooking and Baking with Chef Jasmine Buchanan. Today I'm going to show you how I beef stew. So, okay, I have around four pound of beef here that I'm going to rinse. And I'm going to rinse my meat with cold water. And I'm not going to rinse it too much because I'm gonna squeeze me some lime on it. If I have vinegar, I would use a little bit, but I just have some lime today. And this lime will take away any fridge taste from the meat. And I'm gonna dice up the meat but first i'm gonna have to long cut it and then cut it across now i'm coming across i'm gonna just do it in three And you want to try to get everything even so they can cook at the same time. I'm just going to take away this, throw away this excess fat from the meat. I do not want all the fat to come out because I want it to have flavor. I'm just going to cut this by itself. I'm dicing the meat for easier cook. So my beef stew today is, I'm going to use the onion, a stack of scallion, tomato, the bell pepper, which is the three different color I have today, the red, the yellow, the orange. I have some thyme, I have carrot, I have potato, and I'm using the easy spice meat season and i'm also gonna use the browning for color so again this meat will be the same thing cut it long way then I cut across. You can have this meat over white rice, rice and peas, uh, anything you want to have it with. I keep the fat for flavor. And I'm also, what I, I have my pressure cooker here. I always try to speed up the process of cooking. So, but first, I'm gonna add my onion, my stack of scallion, my tomato, all these different color bell pepper, totally about and I have time, some jai time, time for really good. 
it's like a mother herbs real good and i'm as i have two tablespoon of the easy spice grace um the easy spice meat seasoning i'm gonna rub the first tablespoon in and i'm gonna do the last tablespoon and with this you need no salt because the meat season already have salt and it will give it the flavor it need so now i'm going to my wet ingredients which is my browning i'm just gonna use around a tablespoon of browning and the browning is just to give it the color okay you do not want it too dark you just want it to have the right color because it's gonna be sear and over here i'm gonna turn up my turn stove on and high and as you see you can see that um how it's coming together yes you can um season overnight and let it marinate but make sure you have it in the fridge if you have it overnight and it will let the season go through and chew it i'm just gonna add my potato at this time so it can get some of the season before i start to sear my meat I'm also gonna add the carrot too. I use I use the water to pres preserve the vegetables so they can have their bright pretty color until I ready for them. As you can see, I maybe just add a little bit more. It all depends on how you want your meat, how dark. I want it too dark, but not too dark. This meal, because I add the vegetables and stuff, they become light. I don't want it to be light. I want it to have this pretty color. So when I cook, when it's cooked down, it will still have remained the these two color. So I'm gonna rinse my so over here. As you can see, I put my, I put my stove on high. So it's an electric stove and it hot real quick. So in order for me to cool down the pan, I have to take it off the burner. Now I can put it back because I don't want a flame. That's how you have to, when cooking, you have to be careful in what you're doing and that is around a cup of oil remember
remember to subscribe to Real Cooking and Baking with Chef Jasmine. Not only subscribe, you like, you comment, you share, and you put on your notify bell. So when I drop a video, it will notify you. You can find me on TikTok as Chef Jasmine B. You can also find me on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram, Chef Jasmine B. I also have a Facebook group that you can even share. If you are a lover of food, you can share your food on my, in my group. Real cooking with Chef Jasmine. Now my oil is hot and ready for my meat to be stirred. As you see, the reason why you marinate your meat from overnight, I have to take off back some of these herbs because you don't need it. I'm gonna need it when I'm cooking down the meat. Not right now, I'm just smearing the meat. You don't want too much oil and you don't want too little oil. Too much oil will like overflow. Too little oil will just catch up in the pot bottom. Your meat will just stick to the pot bottom. I'm trying to get everything in before I start stir money. Remember you can always, if it's too much oil, you can always throw off your oil because I'm going to pressure this meat for cooking process. For speeding, for to speed up the cooking process. So let me go ahead and start to stir it. As you can see, how lovely that looks. It looks lovely and it also smells good. What I always do, I always search my bowl to see if I let any pieces of meat in. Because I'm going to cook the vegetable and slow cook and the vegetable is easier than to cook than the meat. So there you go when the light is off, when the stove light uh, yeah, when the stove light is on. So you have the color when it's off, when it's on medium, and when it's on bright. And I'm telling you, it smells so good. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can also cook your meat for until tender and the stove top. But do not add all you want water at once. Add water little bit at a time. nicely as you can see how it looks 
looks good done and done good but it's not cooked so what i'm gonna do right now to speed up the cooking process is remove it from the stove and bring it over to the pressure cooker remember you can keep it on the stove until until it become tender but me go take it to the pressure cooker to speed up the cooking process And I'm just gonna add me some water to the pressure cooker. And that runner, I just add the water to cover the meat. And close my pressure cooker. I'm gonna give my pressure cooker 40 minutes. And over here, I'm gonna come back over here with my uncooked vegetable and let they go slow cook. So by the time my meat cook, the vegetable will be cooked also. But I'm gonna slow. So my meat is pressuring for 40 minutes, exactly 40 minutes, and it's soft. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add it to my herbs and vegetable here because I only use the pressure cooker for the speeding up purpose only and I already cooking my vegetable on low speed so all I needed to do is to gravy down and i have my my stove on high so when this gravy down i'm gonna show come back and show you when it's done so my stubies is is ready as you can see, I don't want it to dry up no more because you know you want that gravy. And I have a pit plate here to tear. So it's gonna be over some fluffy white rice. So I just gonna put my stew beef right in the middle there. It's colorful beautiful easy to do okay. and look how gorgeous it is i just get my plate to be clean here so it's true beef white rice with your little veg so please remember to subscribe to Real Cooking and Baking with Chef Jasmine. Not only subscribe, you like, you share, and you can find me also on Instagram, which you can follow me. I post a sort of full picture every day, almost every day. You can also find me on TikTok. I have a Facebook group that you can also join, and as ways. Real cooking and baking with Chef Jasmine. Chef Jasmine always have some great and awesome recipe, delicious, easy to make, eat, and you will be en enjoying doing it. Until next time, this is Chef Jasmine saying bye-bye for now.